So Luca Caratelli, world rank number four, a tricky left-hander. Sandra Bazadzi, strong, powerful, world rank number two, 29 years old. Caratelli. Uh, as we wait for the first two fences to come and take the stage. Have another look again at how the fences got through to this point. Bazadze actually uh, started his day against uh, Giovanni Repetti of Italy uh, in uh, the, uh, well, that was in the table of 16. So here we go, Sandro Bazadze of Georgia. Strong, powerful. And he is up against the wily Italian Luca Caratelli. Difficult left hander. Strong in the uh, middle of the piece, Caratelli. Bazadze. Once he gets a head of steam up, can be quite difficult to control. Christian Bauer there, the, uh, as part of the Bauer Academy, runs an international team of athletes. He's just taken on uh, Manon Apati Brunet and both of the uh, Apatis. Okay. So final checks. Uh, performed and the masks are down. So here we go. Bazadze on the right of your screen, Luca Caratelli on the left. It's Italy versus Georgia. World ranked number two against world ranked number four. So Caratelli get things. Getting things underway with two quick points. Now, if you're new to fencing, then uh, uh, Sabre is perhaps the fastest of all of the weapons. It's a cutting weapon, so you can score with the length of the blade. The whole of the upper body, including the head, is the target area. And it's a weapon of convention, so it means that if you're being attacked, you've got a couple of options. You can either defeat the attack through backing away, using distance, or you can parry your opponent's blade, and then it, the right of way switches over. There is a third option. You can uh, score with a counter-attack, a stop cut. If you're being attacked, you can hit your opponent as they attack you, but you cannot be hit. So four to the score. We will fence until the first fencer reaches eight. Then we'll take a one minute break. And then it's the first to 15. Counter attack was parried there. Karatali trying to hit the cat with a counter. Bazazi able to parrot and carry on with the attack. 5 3. Looking good for the Georgian here. Now, you can't cross your feet in uh, Sabre because it would be too quick. So, uh, what would be normally a flesh attack in. Uh, in the other weapons becomes a flunge. It's kind of a cross between a, a flesh and a lunge or a flying lunge. Uh, 
And the speed of Bazadze is something to behold. Well, they both came in, then they both stopped and then restarted again. And um, Vassal Malenchev, the referee, is going to go and have a look at the video. He hasn't been asked by either of the fences, so it's not a request. You can go of his own volition. So he stops, starts again. So he went with both of them stopped. Bazadze that was then quicker to restart the attack. So Bazadze's point, score sits at 8-4 and we go to the one minute break. And it's all looking very good for the Georgian. And I've got to say that uh, when uh, Bazadze, oh, don't give him any Red Bull, that's going to make him go even faster. Washing it down with some water. Uh, when Bazadze started working with uh, Christian Bauer, he's actually calmed his fencing down a lot. He used to be a real firebrand, get very, very aggressive on the piste. And he's thinking a lot more, making the right decisions and not letting his emotions get the better of him. He's using and channeling that uh, emotional drive. And unbelievably, uh, Bazadze has never won a Grand Prix. The best he's done is two bronze uh, back in... Uh, in Cairo in 2019, Montreal in 2020. He's won a couple of World Cups. In fact, you know, he won uh, in Tbilisi uh, last year, and he won the last World Cup uh, just last month in, uh, in Algiers. So he's definitely on form, and he's got better, even from last season. So, Counter riposte there. Bazadze is really working out Karatali. Karatali coming back with a long attack. Bazadze getting the line out. So the line was parried. So Bazadze had his arm out straight, uh, which meant that Karatali had to do something, had to knock the blade away. And he did that. He was able to beat Bazadze's blade and then was able to carry on through with the attack. So things can turn around very quickly in Sabre. It's all about momentum. A couple of points now, back to back for Karatali. Bazadzi's picked up the right of way here. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Karatsi tried to leap in with a counter-attack just at the last minute, but Mazadze able to finish off the attack. It's not a question of who hits first. It's a question of who's established the right of way. So again, Mazadze, the quicker to restart. They both come in, they both stop. Stop. Mm. So Karatali just asked Vasil Melenchev. And Melenchev goes, checks the video and sticks with his original decision. 12-6 the score, looking very good for Bazadze. <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> checking the score there, Bazadze. And uh, Vassal Melenchev say, you want a 14? He, well, he's got 14. Yeah, now it's 14, says Melenchev. It's all very, very comfortable for Sandro Bazadze. Right, yellow card here for... Uh, 
false start. It's not a big deal for Bazadze. Only one point away from finishing this off. And there it is. Sandro Bazadze 